Hey everyone, this is Awesome Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. I've been working on uh, my client's uh, membership website uh, for this is for a nonprofit organization. So their member can log into their dashboard here on the right hand side and they can change their profile information or they can update the profile. And then that reflect to a uh, fluent CRM on the admin side so they don't have to manually change it based on uh, members update. Uh, that's going to reflect the change. So I give you a quick uh, demo here. So for example, here organization, I'm going to change Google to uh, Apple Inc. Okay. And then now uh, nonprofit charity, for example, and switch back to English. Uh, you know, I can just uh, put the senior order, you know, three. Um, this is the multi um, selection and, you know, here the food banking as well. And even I could change the, you know, address too. I can probably put to uh, Toronto and then that's going to be Ontario. Right, so uh, all everything can be changed easily, and then uh, so as you can see here, yeah. So now it's Google. It's going to change Apple, and this uh, French. They're going to change to uh, English. So I'm going to just uh, update the profile here, and I'm going to just refresh this uh, this page. All right. So now change to English, Apple. Okay. So Toronto, Ontario. So it's going to change that. So this is going to be a little bit advanced, but you can put the tag based on the selection. This is called a dynamic uh, tag feature uh, with uh, Fluent CRM. So this site is, of course, I'm using a WordPress. This is open source, free, uh, free to everybody. And I'm using a couple of plugins, which is um, the main plugins, Fluent CRM. And then uh, uh, it's called the Jet Engine. This is um, developed by Croc Block team. You know, you can develop a membership site. So I'm using this plugin to uh, create uh, this kind of dashboard too. And let me show you how you can do this quickly. Uh, this is easy. And also I run into some problem. And then I'll show you how to fix that problem, the troubleshooting here, okay? Now, so you need, uh, it's called uh, actually fluent, fluent, fluent form. Um, this is a plugin again. I'm using actually a free version. Okay, so you don't have to pay for this. All right, so uh, let's just go back here now. So this is the Fluent Form uh, plugin. So you install that. So you can develop a bunch of forms. Now I have it's called a My Profile Update. So let's take a quick look here. So this is a form. So input you can just drag and drop. Okay, uh, it's really easy to use. So there's a bunch of field here. Now if you want to update you know, use uh, image upload, uh, file upload. So you have to upgrade to pro version. But for this demo, um, I'm using just free version here. Okay. Now, because this um, field is going to be kind of um, uh, pre-generated based on the, the member's registration. Uh, so as you can see, it's already generated that. So you, you need those kind of code here. Uh, for example, here you click this and then uh, go to uh, advance. And here you can see, you can put the default value here. So you can just, uh, you can put any default value. So this is a user email. So uh, in this case, so I'm just picking this one user email. And if you click that, it generates uh, uh, this, um, this tag here, okay? So I'm gonna just delete this though. Oops. To advance, so you don't need two of those. And then, um, uh, so those field, it's uh, you can you can build a custom field uh, in addition to you know just um, uh, address and stuff. So these are all the custom field, and then uh, you can uh, yeah. Let me just show that to you. Uh, just go back here and go to settings and then custom contact field. Okay, so I built uh, lots of custom contact field, and when you do that, uh, as an example, type of organization here. And then uh, here, organization so type, and then it generates a slug here. Okay, so you can just uh, copy this slug, and then back to uh, form editor. Yeah, organization type here. So this uh, radio box, right? And then go to advance. <clears throat> so um, you just put uh, this full in CRM dot. So that's a slug. Okay, so you do that uh, everything here. So it's kind of easy to do. And after you uh, develop all of that, so go to settings here. And the integrations and then configure integrations and then uh, yeah you can add the integration so uh, in my case fluent crm so this form and the fluent crm integrate so these 
plugins are developed by same developer. So it's, uh, it's very seamless. So uh, take a quick look here. So you have to just map the field. Okay, so this field is, you know, you just pick that website URL again. So it just creates a code here. Okay, and then so you're going to map it one by one. Yeah, it's a good thing about this. Um, you can put the, you know, it's called dynamic tag section. So when, uh, as an example, so you, if member uh, pick the language section and if they picked English, um, so it's going to create an English tag. Okay, so uh, I'm doing a bunch of that. And then uh, the problem actually I run into is, um, so in order to integrate, so at least they have to have a, a email field. Okay, so email field because everybody has unique email. No, so as you said, like if I change back to uh, Google and even like adding a new phone number, you know, 60, something like this, and then when you, Update that. And then when you refresh this page, it changed to Google. Actually, it didn't update um, adding a phone number. Let's just quickly troubleshoot that. I'm going to pause my video. Okay, so this is the phone number here. Now, maybe the integration part is I didn't quite map that, maybe. Yeah, because I don't think I have a phone number here. I mean, that's probably the reason. So let's just add to that, map this. Um, phone, and then so it's going to be phone here. Okay. Okay, so let's save this. Now let's try again. I'm going to just uh, refresh this though. So adding, uh, yeah, just. Uh, Try again. Yeah, it stays there and I refresh this page. Yeah, should, uh, should fix. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit distracted. Uh, but the, the, the problem is not that. Uh, the problem what I have is if the member accidentally change their email address because I don't want them to change email address, right? So, but see what happened if I changed it. Uh, let's say John to uh, Don test, for example, and then update that. Now let's refresh this. Now it doesn't actually update it, right? So instead, so let's go to uh, all contact here. And then I'm going to just say um, Don test. Here, so it actually creates a new contact. It's going to duplicate it and then add a new contact because I don't want this to happen again. So, so what I want to do is um, I can display um, the user's email, but I like to disable it so that uh, they cannot edit their email section or field. And then there is actually documentation for that. Uh, their support team contacted me saying it's possible. So there is some uh, CSS ready class for Fluent CR, Fluent form. And then uh, what I sh should be using is uh, this FF read only. So this should work. So I'm going to just copy this. And then uh, go back to form. Uh, what is that? Uh, edit form here. And then, so this is the email section, go to advance and then element the class here. So I'm going to paste that um, class here and the save form. See, and then uh, see what happened. So you can see it, it's kind of grayed out and you cannot really change it. So this is exactly what I wanted. And now, so let's go back to this, back to John test uh, contact. Oh, by the way, if you have a member press, I'm using member press, you get um, this uh, one time subscription list too on the, on the CIM dashboard, which is nice. Uh, by the way, so you can change back to, let's say, nonprofit and back to uh, French and then provincial. Uh, you can change back to, uh, let's say, meta. Right. So uh, then you can just uh, hit update. Now let's refresh this page. 
All right, so you see it changed the meta and the French, um, yeah, French and the nonprofit, right? So national, national, okay. So it works, okay. All right, so this is exactly what I wanted. And then I hope this helps. Uh, this tool is gonna be really useful uh, for especially nonprofit organization uh, to build the stronger community and enhance their uh, communication between nonprofit and, and the members or community uh, they are serving. So uh, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.